All right. Good morning. My name is Camilo Herrera. Today, my argument will focus on sports influence on human growth and interaction. Oh. Not letting me switch the slides. To what extent, my research question is, to what extent has the development and evolution of sports in the United States impact the way that humans grow and interact with themselves and their environment? The development of sports in America has impacted the way that humans grow and interact by providing many positive effects on the human body, creating connections among people and cultures, increasing injury risk and stress, and increasing athletes' opportunities for scholarships. The first major influence that sports has on the way that humans interact are the extreme health benefits that come from participating in sports, both physical and mental. When students and athletes are participating in sports, their heart is pumping and their body is active. This is a form of exercise. Exercise is one of the least expensive ways to stay healthy, with one study finding that exercise can prevent chronic diseases as effectively as medication can. As you can see by the figure displayed on the screen, you can see how participation in sports has decreased dementia chances by 30%, reduces hip fractures by 30%, and decreases the risk of cardiovascular disease by up to 35%. Aside from the physical benefits, there also include a lot of mental benefits. These benefits are mentioned in Alicia Garcia's article called Psychological Benefits of Sports and Physical Activity, where she mentions how when students and athletes are participating in sports, the brain does something called release endorphins. These endorphins serve as receptors in the human brain, which help boost the immune system and overall attentiveness in the sport. Other benefits that come along from this include better sleep, a stronger heart, improved lung function, and increased confidence. As for the second major influence that sports has on the way that humans interact is the promoting and enhancement of communities and the connection between them. Sports give humans the ability to interact with each other and meet new people from various backgrounds. No matter what sport it is in America, every sport has a group of people and a community that displays a large passion for the sport. This connection between sports and culture allows for the human race to connect and evolve as a whole due to the community that the sports team has in all of America. One example for this could be the Super Bowl. America has cultivated a tradition and a culture in Super Bowl where everyone in this and throughout all of America tunes into their phone, the laptop or TV to watch the big game. It's a type of culture and tradition that America has cultivated, which brings people together all to enjoy a single sport. As you can see by the figure displayed on the screen, which displays the total sport participation rates in 2016, around 60% of all children in America participate in team sports. This is over 37 million people under the age of 18 participating in sports and participating in the culture that it provides, along with health benefits and helping them develop and evolve in a healthy manner. As a counter argument to the sports influence on the way that humans interact with their environment is atmospheric damage due to stadium use and construction. As these buildings are created and innovated to host these events, the machines and technology that are integrated into making the stadiums has a huge impact on the amount of pollutants released into the world's atmosphere and terrestrial ecosystems. As you can see by a study done in the 2015 Super Bowl on the screen, it shows how air quality index is increasing constantly, displaying the connection between air pollution and the amount of NFL spectators at a game. With more spectators there is, the higher the air pollution gets. With carbon dioxide levels increasing by 35% due to sport events and greenhouse gases from the creation of stadiums releasing 11% of all greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Along with atmospheric damage, there's also a lot of terrestrial ecosystems which are being harmed by sport use. This is through soil and water pollution. With these stadiums being integrated into the city, it hurts water pollution by decreasing the amount of drinking and a lot of water for drinking and irrigation. Through soil pollution, it makes it difficult for trees and plants to be grown, which can affect agricultural production, overall leading to a decrease in the amount of crops that humans are able to cultivate and produce to sell. Through the building and use of these sports stadiums, it can not only hurt the atmosphere and cause layers in it to be destroyed, it can also potentially lead to groundwater contamination and the delay in agric agricultural production decreasing the development of humans along with the environment and the economy. To add on to the influences that sports have on the way that humans interact is the increase in levels of injury and stress due to participation in sports. The more that people participate in sports, the higher the stress gets. This is because of the competitive culture that sports cultivates in its scene. 
The more people participate in sports, the higher the stress gets. This is because of difficult relationships with teammates, unrealistic expectations, and time demands, which increase all stress for people that play sports. Although stress isn't the only thing that is increasing as sports evolve. Injuries that come along with it also increase. Different sports have different types of injuries that impact several parts of the human body. As you can see by the figure displayed on the screen, the NFL has over four times the amount of injury rates as the NHL does, with the English Premiership of Rugby having more injuries than that. This goes to show that injuries play a really large role in sports, and they, the more competitive and harder on the sport is, the more likely that these injuries are to happen. These injuries include sprains, broken bones, joint disruption, and strains. More than 3.5 million children ages 14 and younger get hurt annually playing sports or participating in these recreational activities. As the last major influence that sports has on the way that humans develop are the educational opportunities that colleges offer for these student athletes. Sports scholarships give athletes the ability to excel their sports career and get a chance to participate in professional and college play. The opportunities help millions of student athletes evolve as an athlete in the future. As you can see by the figure displayed on the screen, chances of a high school athlete getting a college athletic scholarship vary among gender and sport, with female fencers having the best odds of receiving a scholarship at 7.5% of fencers. Although chances might be slim at these scholarships, the benefits that come along with participating in these college sports mean a lot. 59% of Division I players and 62% of Division II players received an athletic scholarship. This goes to show that participating in a college sport and being able to balance time between games, practice, and staying on top of academics really show a student's work ethic. Former college athletes learn leadership skills, teamwork skills, and time management skills. To wrap things up, the influence and effect that sports have on human behavior go a long way in developing the human race and evolving the human body. As sports evolve, so do humans. Sports change the way that the world works and impacts all aspects of life, including culture and bringing in different people from different ethnicities and races and connecting them through bonding, how it increases health benefits for all humans, and how it increases futuristic opportunities for education in all student athletes. As sports evolve in America, so do the American people and their ways of living, which contribute to unique aspects of human evolution. Thank you very much. Do you have any questions? I do have two questions for you. First up, uh, how valid and reliable were the sources that you used? As for, the, as for the validity and all of my sources, I think they were pretty accurate and very reliable, mostly because all of the information that I collected, I tried to gather from experiments and statistics that are real world and that are present so they can help uh, the effectiveness of my presentation. They also come from scientists and specific research studies done specifically for the sports effect on humans and on the environment. Okay, and uh, what advice would you have for other researchers who consider this topic in the future? For other researchers that want to consider this topic, I genuinely say that you should participate, like you should use your personal aspects of this topic. Let's say if you play a sport, it would be easier to know how it influences other people because you notice how it influences you. So using personal information can help you evolve and overall answer the question in a much more effective way because you have a general knowledge and concept of what you're trying to learn. Okay. 